Hey, I'm Jimmy over at Vortex Optics, and I'm here today to give you a very brief and very basic run through in some of the methods that hunters and shooters can use to estimate their distance to the target using a milliradian or minute of angle reticle. So let's take a closer look at these methods and some of the formulas that make these methods work out for us. So the way this system works involves taking a target of known size, plugging that into the reticle, seeing how much distance is taken up, and then using those known values to be plugged into a formula, which will give us an estimated distance to the target. So in this picture, we can see what our image would look like through our rifle scope. In this case, I already knew in advance that the target that I was estimating was six inches wide. That's my known width of the target. We fit this target into the reticle to observe how many MOA it takes up. And we see two and a half MOA, one, two, and a half way through the next one. Now be careful of those subtensions. If you're using a second focal plane rifle scope, you will need to have the rifle scope set to the proper magnification setting in order to ensure that your subtensions are correct. If the subtensions are not correct, this will skew your range estimation. So, knowing what we know from looking through the rifle scope, we use those values to plug into the worm equation, where width equals range times mils or MOA measured. In this case, we want to isolate for range. So we get range equals width over mils or MOA observed. So using what we learned, we know our target is six inches wide, and we know that it filled out 2.5 MOA. Here we fill in 95.5. This number keeps our inches constant in relation to our minute of angle to give us an accurate yardage reading. Some shooters and observers will use 100 in place of 95.5 for the sake of simplicity, but keep in mind that if you leave this number, you will experience a 5% overestimation in yardage, and this needs to be compensated for down the road, or you will experience an inaccurate reading. So let me show you what I mean by that. Let's take a different example. In this case, we're measuring a target that is 18 inches wide, and we use 100 instead of 95.5 to save time for the sake of simplicity. We'll divide this by 3 MOA, because in this case we'll say our target fills out that much, and then we'll get a value of 600. And if we left it at that, we would assume that our target is 600 yards away. But if we don't account for this 5% error, we wouldn't see that our target is actually 570 yards away. This is a significant difference to you as a shooter. If you're compensating for 600 instead of 570, it could cause you to shoot high. Let's mix it up a little bit. Let's try a problem with mills instead of minute of angle. So if we look down here, we'll say our target is 36 inches wide, a one yard wide sheet of cardboard. And again, we're milling out our target and we see that it takes up 2.5 mils instead of 2.5 MOA. We use our number in this case is 27.8. This is the number that keeps our inches in relation to our mils to give us an accurate yardage. And when we do this math, we see that we're given 400.32 yards or 400 yards for the sake of simplicity. At Vortex Optics, we produce and promote rifle scopes that have both minute of angle and milliradian reticles for estimating distance to the target. However, we don't promote any one over the other one. There is no such thing as better or worse than the other. We encourage you to find out for yourself which one will work best for you and your intended purposes. Well, thanks for watching our feature video on range estimation with a reticle. I hope you found our video helpful, but if you're interested in the topic, I encourage you to learn more about it. Feel free to consult your user's manual with any of our products. There's very detailed information available for you.